If you have a crop sensor Sony camera like the a6400 or a6500, this is what this 28 to 70 millimeter lens is going to look like at 28 millimeters. If we were to go to 70 millimeters, you'll see that it's gonna be pretty close up on my face and you'll also see that it focuses pretty nicely. So I'm gonna go back to 28 and what I'm gonna do is change my Sony a7 IV into full frame mode so you can see what 28 millimeters actually looks like. This is 28 millimeters on the full frame. So now you can see it is quite a bit more zoomed out. And if I were to go into 70, 70 is not as zoomed in. What I want to show you in this video is one, the zoom range, but two, the aperture changing. So you see how it got darker? That's because it goes to f5.6 when we're zoomed in. And then when we zoom out, it's automatically gonna go to f3.5. Now what's really nice is you actually get a blurred background regardless of if you're at f3.5 and you have that aperture helping you get a blur. So you can see that my hand is slightly blurry. Or if you zoom in, that also helps compress the background and blur it. And you can see that my hand is actually quite blurry. Uh, even at f5.6, it might even be blurrier than at f3.5. Uh, I can't really tell because I'm looking at the tiny screen on the side of my camera, but just wanted to show you this example footage right here because I think you'll be pretty surprised that f3.5 and f5.6 on this little lens from Sony can look really good. And what's nice is that if you are filming handheld, because this lens has steady shot, it is really solid. So this is what it looks like handheld. If I were to be moving around a little bit, if you want to vlog, you can definitely vlog with this lens. I recommend it for shooting 60 frames at 120 frames per second slow-mo stuff. And I actually use it for video quite a bit more than my 24 to 70 Sigma art lens because it has the steady shot built in. So just want to show you this sample footage. I think it looks awesome and I recommend it.